All right, back to what's the relationship. I've got two molecules drawn on the board in red. Uh, I actually did one other problem with molecules very similar to this, and I went through sort of why, they, why they're definitely isomers, why they're not the same, why they're not conformational isomers, uh, why they are isomers. Uh, so uh, if you haven't watched that video, go watch that one first. All right, I'm going to let you pause it and go away and tell me, come back and tell me what, uh, looks like I erased a little too much here. So pause it, take a look at these two molecules, uh, take a close look at these two molecules, and go and tell me what, uh, what the isomeric relationship is. All right, go ahead. Okay, if you're back, uh, again, if you overlap the carbon skeletons, so one through, carbons one through eight line up exactly the same, then this OH being out is the opposite absolute configuration of this OH being back. So C2 has inverted. And what you'll find, if you look through all this, C2 inverts, C3 inverts, C4 inverts, C6 inverts, and C7 inverts. But C5 does not invert. And so the two molecules clearly aren't superimposable, therefore. Uh, there's no way, there's no way to, to get them superimposable if all of them are the same except one. Because to change the other one, remember, you can't just break C5 off and put it back on the other side. You can only rotate bonds. If I rotate bonds, they're not going to be superimposable. Um, so, if all of them are the same, or if, if one chiral center inverts and one stays the same, one or more, if one or more chiral centers invert and one or more chiral centers stay the same, then they have to be diastereomers. And again, that's only, you, you might have to go through and actually do RS, RS for all of these. But if you have eight chiral centers, and they're all R, say in the top, and they're all S in the bottom, if they all change, the molecule, the two molecules would be enantiomers. If one R changes to S, and one R stays R, or one S stays S, so one chiral center changes, one chiral center doesn't, the molecules are diastereomers.